up everybody? My name is Drew and I play the xylophone in Quiet Drive. And Kevin I sing, he plays the bass though, he's just being a funny pants. And uh, this is the van which I like to call the Horseman of Apocalypse. Um, this is the front part of the van. This is where most of the magic happens. Something that we like to call driving. This is the steering wheel. You'll notice that it's round, unlike in most cars. And uh, if you do this kind of back and forth while you're on the freeway, you kind of, you know, try to stay in between the lines. And, uh, and that's usually how we roll. This is our favorite sticker. Don't tase me, bro. No. And then we also have our speaker, the Clay Aiken sticker. I think this has been here since the van's beginning. He's kept us safe, away from harm. We kind of like to look at Clay Aiken as our guardian angel. We also, uh, the front of the van features a global positioning system, if you will. Um, this tells us where we go. About 95% of the time it's wrong and actually makes us get lost more than uh, if we didn't have it. So, glad it's here. Um, we also like to uh, keep pictures of men in swimming trunks on our ceiling. This kind of adds some ambiance to the situation. But this is like the area of the van where everybody gets to pick the music. You know, you know, we like to listen to what anybody else wants to listen to. But we have this little iPod hookup. We usually blast in the iPod music. I don't know. It's kind of a nice choice spot in the van. We also have. Uh, Linksys router which provides us internet everywhere we go thanks to Sprint. So we usually roll down the road with full-fledged internet which I don't know what they did before that because we are always on the internet. Welcome to the new age. Cooking our nutsack with our laptops. Very true. Now you guys want to head around to the back? And this part of the van is uh, a very versatile section. You'll notice a pillow behind me, good for sleeping. Um, that's something that we've discovered through touring is that pillows are both soft and pleasing on your head. Um, but also this is sometimes where we, we sit and play games. Uh, we've been known to play games such as the band name game where you go through the alphabet and name a band for every letter. We've also been known to play video games, watch movies in here. Um, and sometimes we just make fun of each other for fun. That's this is where I usually sit. That way, in case anything wrong happens, and somebody has to get out of the van and do something, I don't have to go anywhere, because I'm in the spot that's furthest away from any doors. Which also Sweet means if there was a fire, you'd probably be the first one to die. You know, I'd kick out this window. I think I'd be fine. But like, well, it's good that you have a, a safety exit I'm not strategy. 28 yet. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. You always have to be safety minded. And uh, maybe now we can go off and show off the bedroom. The master bedroom. The master bedroom, or the master suite as I like to call it this way. As you can see, we like to keep things nice and clean. It's not like we leave Jimmy John's wrappers or anything laying around, but it's always good to have some a bag full of cereal, too. <laughs> Just in case shit hits the fan. And vodka. A uh, nice little discovery we made is that a futon mattress fits nicely back here, which is, as you can see, very plush and comfortable. Good for long drives, and uh, it's nice to sleep back here. You can also just kind of hang out back here, lounge back here, talk on your cell phone. When your girlfriend's screaming at you, this is a nice little place to get away from everybody else so they can't see the tears flowing down your face. And now we'll, uh, now we'll show you probably my favorite part of the whole traveling ring. Now this may look to you folks at home like an ordinary trailer, but it's not, it's not the case. First of all, the trailer was originally one big section we decided to divide it up. We've got merchandise, as you can see, which we have a ridiculous amount of. Over here, got some tires, tire food. It's always nice when you're parked in South Chicago. We got some luggage bunks over here. Things really got desperate. We were stuck in the middle of Alaska in the wilderness. We could probably sleep in here, huddled together, warm. But this area, when the sun goes down, transforms into something that we like to call low butts. Affectionately named after our drummers. 
lowly placed rear. Uh, low butt. He's got low butt. He's got but low, low position on his body. So what we like to do here is we like to kind of set up a full service bar. Which, of course, since the sun is still shining, we can't do it. We actually used to have an open sign that we'd hang up here. And we haven't really talked to the police or the state officials about if that's legal or not. But we don't sell anything. So we just hang out and party. And I think, I think it's, cool. this is basically our house, you know, since... Of our house too. Yeah, I agree. We're not sure if it's legal, but we're gonna go with it for now. We like to, uh, we like to indulge in here, and, uh, have some fun, listen to some music, and uh, sip some man sodas, if you will. And we're gonna go to the last part of the trailer, which is not that interesting, but this is where we keep through. Oh, this is where I live back here. But unfortunately, way. we're gonna have to go this way. This is where I live. It's always a good idea to have a nice vacuum cleaner. When you're, clean, when you're cleaning up the house, getting ready for company such as you, it's nice to have a Hoover. Keep everything clean. As you can see, everything's in nice working order. And uh, just as good as new. So, this is where we live. Thanks Welcome for coming. Nice. Thanks for hanging out with us. For Quiet Drive. You guys can go to our website at quietdrivemusic.com. We'll see you guys around the world. But hopefully not in here.